Recently, I thought that I had reached a performance limitation in SwiftUI, so I started to re-implement my view using the lazy H stack instead of the regular H stack. But it turns out that I simply did not understand how the view re-rendering works in SwiftUI. Today, I will explore rendering in SwiftUI with a simple example. Let's get started. I have a very simple SwiftUI view here. There's a standard hello world text with icon, additional text and a button. As you have probably noticed, there is this additional extension on color here, which adds this static variable debug as a random color. So each time this debug color is being used, it will be a different color. This way we will be able to tell that this view has been re-rendered. On top there is a counter variable with state property wrapper. So inside our app, uh, when we will tap the go button, it will increase the counter value by one. Let's add a print here, so we will see that it's actually uh, being increased. And let's rerun the app. So each time you tap the button, it will print its value inside this console. At this point, SwiftUI will not re-render this view. From the system perspective, not much is changing. We are changing the state of the counter. But because it's not being used inside the view itself, the view will not be re-rendered. We can add this print changes private SwiftUI function to see how SwiftUI evaluates the view. Now, when you will run the app, you will see that the content view, self identity and counter has changed. And this print changes will continue to print each time SwiftUI will evaluate the view. So right now, when you tap the go button, you will see that the counter value is changing, but the view itself is not changing. And the reason why is that we are not using the counter inside the view. So when the counter changes, there is no need to redraw the view. Now let's add the counter to the hello world text view. Let's run the app and tap the go button. Now we can see that the content view counter has changed. Also the background color for the text element and the icon has changed. As you can see, it is changing. Each time we will tap the go button. Because we are now using the counter inside the view and the counter is changing, the view will redraw itself. What is interesting is that not only the text view that is using the counter will reload, but all of the elements inside this view. So the icon and the second text view will also be reloaded. This is something to keep in mind when you have a large view with additional states or observed objects. Each time those changes are being used in a view, the view will be reloaded. Now let's refactor our view a little bit and move icon and the second text to a separate view. And let's run the app. When you tap the go button, only the first text view is changing. As you can see, the background here only changes in the first one, the second one is not being changed. So what is happening here? Why is that? Second view does not depend on any additional state. The identity of this view has not changed. SwiftUI knows that this view is not changing and there's no need for it to be reloaded. This way SwiftUI can re-render only a part of the view, which is much more efficient. Now let's add a state to the second view. So let's just add state same and also let's add this button let's add this uh, text let's use our counter here in the second text and let's build this up now when you tap the go button in the second view only the icon and the text inside the second view are being reloaded as you can see only this one is being reloaded the first view, even though it holds the second view, is not being re-rendered. Only the second view is. It turns out that splitting your view into smaller views not only helps you with organizing your code, 
but also helps and keeps SwiftUI from re-rendering your view when it's not necessary. That's all what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.